the COVID-19 outbreak, as a part of IPC measures, health workers must evaluate each interaction that will take place between them and their patients and assess the risk of exposure to and contact with any bodily fluids such as blood or respiratory droplets and or open skin. Based on this process, called a risk assessment, health workers will determine which type of personal protective equipment or PPE to wear for adequate protection during each interaction with a patient. A risk assessment to determine which PPE to wear is critical for all activities. It is done at two levels, by program leaders at the national or subnational level and by individual health workers at the service delivery level before each patient interaction. Program leaders at the national or subnational level first confirm what the local COVID-19 transmission scenario is. There are four types of transmission scenarios. No cases, where a country has no confirmed cases. Sporadic cases, where a country has one or more cases locally detected or imported. Clusters of cases, where a country has clusters in time, geographic location, or common exposure, and community transmission or widespread transmission, where a country, area, or territory experiences larger outbreaks of local transmission defined through an assessment of factors but not limited to large numbers of cases not linkable to transmission chains, large numbers of cases from Sentinel laboratory surveillance, and or multiple unrelated clusters in several areas of the country, area, or territory. Program leaders, depending on the transmission scenario, define and recommend IPC activities, including which PPE health workers should use in various immunization settings, fixed, outreach, campaign. Additionally, program leaders should ensure adequate IPC training and appropriate supply of necessary equipment. In any vaccination delivery setting, fixed outreach campaign, and regardless of the COVID-19 transmission scenario, health workers always need to follow recommended standard IPC activities during the COVID-19 outbreak. For example, a vaccinator will always practice hand hygiene before and after each patient and maintain as much as possible a distance of one meter between themselves and any caregivers. Along with adhering to national IPC guidance and protocols for PPE, health workers will also need to do an individual risk assessment before each interaction with the patient to determine what PPE they should wear with that patient. Let us look more closely at how individual health workers should do a risk assessment when vaccinating at a fixed site, during an outreach session, or at a campaign site. First, let us look at how to assess the need for a medical mask, which is the most common PPE item used during the COVID-19 outbreak. To determine whether to wear a medical mask during an immunization session, first take into consideration the COVID-19 transmission scenario for the area. Is there community or widespread transmission of COVID-19? If so, the risk of exposure is high and therefore health workers should wear a medical mask throughout the immunization session. The same mask can be worn throughout the shift. However, if the mask becomes damaged, contaminated or damp, it should be safely removed and disposed of and a new one should be put on. Avoid touching the mask while wearing it and do not reuse single-use masks. Is transmission sporadic or is it clustered? If so, health workers can consider wearing medical masks. In areas where surveillance is weak, because of the possibility of unknown community transmission in these settings, health workers are encouraged to wear medical masks throughout the immunization session. If there are no cases of COVID-19, health workers can assess the risk of exposure from each individual patient interaction and determine whether a face mask may be appropriate. 
Are there additional PPE items that a health worker should wear? Eye protection or face shields are not routinely required during immunization delivery, but for each interaction with a patient and caregiver, a health worker should assess the risk of exposure to determine whether goggles or a face shield are necessary. Will there be any splashes from droplets or body fluids? For example, will an oral vaccine be administered? If so, eye protection is recommended. Gloves and gowns are also not routinely required during immunization delivery. However, if there is a risk that the health worker may have direct contact with blood and body fluids or with non-intact skin, gloves and or a gown are recommended. A gown and gloves should be discarded after single use. What if the patient or caregiver is a suspected or confirmed case of COVID-19? Does this affect the PPE a health worker should wear? It does. When interacting with a suspected or confirmed COVID-19 patient, a health worker should wear a gown, gloves, eye protection, and a mask. A medical mask is recommended in a vaccination setting. And remember, practice hand hygiene between each vaccine recipient before and after contact. Inadequate IPC measures may lead to disease transmission to patients, staff, and community. You should now know how to determine which type of personal protective equipment, or PPE, to wear for immunization sessions during the COVID-19 outbreak.